New ways of documenting and sharing artifacts are being explored in a recent study. Archaeologists are now using the tools of the 21st century to explore the past and are exploring how structured light 3D scanning can capture both the surface and geometry of artifacts. Archaeology is the study of human activity through the recovery and analysis of material culture. Archaeology is often considered a branch of sociocultural anthropology, but archaeologists also draw from biological, geological, and environmental systems through their study of the past. So in this video, we're going to tell you Archaeology Technology, exploring the past with modern technology. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick till the end. Archaeologists study human prehistory and history from the development of the first stone tools at Lamekwi in East Africa 3.3 million years ago up until recent decades. Archaeology can be considered both social science and a branch of the humanities. This technology will eventually help put artifacts that have been excavated in pieces back together again, they hope. The same technology can produce three-dimensional models of artifacts allowing researchers around the world to study pieces online. Drawing on the expertise of many scientific disciplines, archaeologists today are harnessing a range of sophisticated devices and techniques to gain exciting new insights about the ancient world. Archaeology has always been very interdisciplinary, says Heather Richards Rosetto, an archaeologist at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. But I think now there's a lot more collaboration between science and engineering than before, and archaeologists are a part of that, helping to develop the technologies to study the past. It's a brave new world for archaeologists. No longer are they limited to handheld dusters, shovels, and pickaxes. Technology helps them unlock the mysteries that might lie right under their feet, and makes their examination of ancient cities and artifacts more efficient and revealing. Technology has not only rendered the process of archaeology more fruitful, it also helped to make it more democratic. Many recent discoveries have been made possible by the new science of ancient DNA. Since scientists fully sequenced the first ancient human genome in 2010, data from thousands of individuals have shed new insights on our species' origins and early history. This is why many people today possess some Neanderthal DNA. Ancient DNA is how researchers first identified the mysterious Denisovans who interbred with us and Neanderthals. And while most studies are still conducted on bones and teeth, it's now possible to extract ancient DNA from other sources like cave dirt and 6,000-year-old chewing gum. By 1950, it was a professional academic discipline requiring high-level education and long-term study. Schools all over the developed world began teaching it. Colleges and universities offered degrees and postgraduate courses before the 1960s. In the early 20th century, archaeology would undergo more change. He introduced a scientific excavation method still in use today. It's named the Wheeler Canyon Method, 12 after Wheeler and his student Kathleen Canyon. Prior to his, antiquaries and archaeologists would smash through upper layers to get to perceived more interesting layers beneath the little care for the size development, changing morphology, expansion contraction, and cultural evolution. Wheeler and Kenyon finally removed the shackles of the perception of archaeology being a hunt for treasure and curiosities. By the 21st century, practically all archaeologists, including manual labor excavators, had archaeology degrees. With help from the University of Kentucky Center for Visualization and Virtual Environments, Counts and his colleagues, including UWM Anthropology PhD student Kevin Gartsky, are exploring how structured light 3D scanning can capture both the surface and geometry of artifacts. They hope that this technology will eventually help put artifacts that have been excavated in pieces back together again. The same technology can produce three-dimensional models of artifacts, allowing researchers around the world to study pieces online. This innovative technology could help archaeologists and art historians in a number of ways, says Counts, including allowing archaeological objects that have been broken and scattered over a wide area to be digitally reassembled. There's amazing examples of high-tech archaeology include ocean-going robots that can explore submerged ancient cities, complex mathematical techniques for recreating the sounds of daily life in ancient times, VR technology to turn dusty ruins into living, breathing virtual communities, protein analysis techniques that reveal what diseases Incan mummies harbored in life, and imaging technologies that reveal the true colors of ancient statues. While biomolecules help researchers zoom into microscopic detail, other approaches let them zoom out. Archaeologists have used aerial photography since the 1930s, but widely available satellite imagery now enabled researchers to discover new sites and monitor existing ones at risk. Drones flying over sites help investigate how and why they're made in combat looting. Originally developed for space applications, scientists now use LiDAR, a remote sensing technique that uses lasers to measure the distance to map 3D surfaces and visualize landscapes here on Earth. As a result, ancient cities are emerging from dense vegetation in places like Mexico, Cambodia, and South Africa. 
Technologies that can peer underground from the surface, such as ground-penetrating radar, are also revolutionizing the field, for example, revealing previously unknown structures at Stonehenge. More and more archaeologists are able to do their work without even digging a hole. Drones help researchers locate the grave of a Celtic prince and the priceless headgear and jewels that adorn his remains. Small commuter airplanes perform LIDAR scans using laser beams. These ground-penetrating radars unveil burial sites and other structures that have long evaded discovery. For decades, archaeologists have relied on Geographic Information Systems GIS, a discipline that uses GPS and other data to create sophisticated two-dimensional maps of structures and artifacts within archaeological sites. But Richards, Rosetto, and other scientists have begun linking GIS to 3D modeling techniques for a much more detailed look at lost worlds. One result of the new approach is a detailed computer simulation of the ancient mine site of Copan in Honduras, which can be walked through and explored with a VR system like Oculus Rift or Unity. Creating this kind of interactive virtual world wouldn't be possible without a pair of state-of-the-art imaging technologies, LiDAR for light detection and ranging, and photogrammetry. We're finding that there's so much more out there in general that we didn't know about it. Richards Rosetto says, LiDAR is a bit like sonar, only it generates spatial information using light instead of sound. Mounted on helicopters or small planes, LiDAR devices calculate the distance to objects on the ground by measuring the time it takes for a reflected laser pulse to return to the device. LiDAR allows archaeologists to quickly map a site's topography, including areas deeply buried under dense forest canopies. LiDAR has even enabled scientists to find lost cities, such as the White City in the Mosquita region of Honduras. Teams of archaeologists are combining big data sets in new ways to understand large-scale processes. In 2019, over 250 archaeologists pooled their findings to show that humans have altered the planet for thousands of years, for example, with a 2,000-year-old irrigation system in China. This echoes other cities that challenge the idea that the Anthropocene, the current period defined by human influences on the planet, only began in the 20th century. A relatively recent application is the use of digital technology in the application of data analyses. As with any other scientific discipline, computers are used to perform complex or large calculations that humans could not possibly hope to achieve individually. It includes technologies such as GIS, Geographic Information Systems 23, surveying and satellite data for spatial analyses, it also involves the study, use, and application of statistical models for big data analytics in human behavior, probability models, intrasite analysis, digitized data of stratigraphic relationships, 3D modeling, artifact concentration and distribution, predictive modeling, and heritage conservation. There's also profound use for information sharing within academia and with the public. If some archaeologists are focusing on what ancient people saw, others want to know what they heard. A lot of the stuff that researchers have been doing has been about visibility and line of sight. Says sunny archaeologist David Witt, these advances bring researchers together in exciting new ways. Over 140 new Nazca lines, ancient images carved into a Peruvian desert, were discovered using artificial intelligence to sift through drone and satellite imagery. With the wealth of high-resolution satellite imagery online, teams are also turning to crowdsourcing to find new archaeological sites. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we'll be back soon with another video.